Hi, my name is Carl Ramirez, and I am not a geologist. Here is my rock collection. So this is a, one of my oldest rocks in the collection. It's a river pebble from about 10 kilometers from, about 20 kilometers from my house. It's a river pebble. Um, here are my, the second oldest parts of the rock collection. I'm not sure if they're sapphires or zir zircons, but I was told that you could find both in Oberon and that's where you found them. Now, I, I went to Tasmania recently, and I found this. This is apparently a glacial deposit, but I don't know why it is. This one is from an abandoned mine in Roseberry, Tasmania. It was, um, I think, a zinc mine which is there, but I'm not. This doesn't look like a zinc ore at all. It looks like more like iron ore, but I'm not really sure. Now here are the most interesting parts of my rock collection. They're, they are concretions. I, I I will put on an animation of how the concretions are made. But firstly. Okay, so these are from, these iron concretions are from my house. They are quite soft. You see, v very soft rocks. They shatter when they hit the ground, like very easily, and they are very red inside. So I think that's a very high iron oxide content, particularly of iron free. Meanwhile, from the Hawkesbury Institute of the Environment, they have both iron concretions and manganese oxide concretions. Manganese oxide concretions seem to attract calcium carbonate on them, so they are somewhat tougher when they hit the ground. But yeah, as you can see, the, the style the concretion forms is from the inside out, so the manganese forms, like the oxide of the iron or the manganese forms in ever larger circles, so you, as you can see, it there are some sort of circular patterns here, and here the manganese grew before being encased by the calcium carbonate. Yeah, so after this I'll tack on a, an animation that I made of the of how these concretions formed. But I don't have an XRF to analyze these, so I'd like someone to, with an XRF to analyze them. Thanks.